The Boston Bruins have signed defenseman Zdeno Chiara to a one-year extension. We get all the details and we'll discuss how this impacts the team for next season. And that's coming up next. Welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams. So if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So as we mentioned off the top, the Boston Brooms have signed their captain, 41-year-old Zdeno Chera, to a one-year extension. Obviously, his contract was coming to an end, and it was speculated that either he would end up retiring or re-signing with the Bruins. I personally did not see him going anywhere else. I uh, fully suspected he would end his career in the Bruins uniform. Um, based on his play this season and how he's been able to remain pretty healthy and keep himself in pretty good shape, uh, this does not come out of surprise to me that he's going to extend and play one more season. The value of the contract is at $5 million. The contract also has a lot of bonuses and incentives included, which could earn him an extra $1.75 million. Uh, should he attain the goals and, and targets outlined in the contract. You know, Chiara, even at his age, is having a pretty good season and still having a big impact on his organization. Currently, so far this year, he has 7 goals and 16 assists for 23 points. Uh, he's a plus 26 with 58 penalty minutes, often playing over 20 minutes a night, still playing a big role. Uh, and obviously, not only that, but he's a, a very big mentor for this team. Uh, certainly leads by example. They've got a lot of other younger defensemen back there that really can learn a lot from him. Uh, and really look up to him and gain a lot of valuable experience. Uh, so, you know, they've got Charlie McAvoy, you've got Brandon Carlo, you know, Tori Krug still on the younger side of things. So, I mean, and they've got a lot of younger defensemen coming up as well. So even if it means that Chera may slowly take a lesser role with the team, having his presence back there be the leader of the team uh, and have all that valuable experience that he can pass on to these young guys certainly is worth the price tag that comes on his contract. Uh, and he still competes very hard at his age, and he can still play a very important role uh, on the Bruins club uh, even though it might not be quite as dominant as it used to be he's still a big part of the team they've also recently signed defensive prospect Willie Sherman who was a 2013 draft pick who played at Harvard University uh, after the season completed uh, he signed his entry-level contract with the Bruins obviously he was a teammate there uh, at forward Ryan Donato who just recently made his debut with the Bruins as well and has got off to a flying start in Boston but some other top defensive prospects like Vakaninen and Zaboral coming along as well uh, so with, between those guys uh, Sherman and then the other guys that they've already got in the Bruins lineup currently at the NHL level they've got a they're pretty well uh, positioned for defensive prospects uh, in the existing defensive players on the team right now so having chair around uh, over time obviously at some point they're going to want to lessen his ice time lighten his load a little bit give the younger guys a bigger role but i think it's a it's a great signing for the bruins um you know zidane chair has always been well known for keeping himself in fantastic shape obviously he's 41 years young uh, still going strong uh, for the Bruins, still playing lots of big minutes, very important minutes. He can still play the power play. He can still help kill penalties. Uh, he's still playing over 20 minutes a night. So I think this is big for the Bruins. Kind of identifies where they're going next season. Uh, obviously, uh, as I mentioned, like, you know, we may see his his role kind of maybe taken back a little bit with all the young defensemen they have ready to step up and take on bigger roles. But either way, just having his presence there uh, on the team, I think, is huge for this club. Uh, obviously, they're having a fantastic year right now, uh, battling up for first place in the division with Tampa. They're expected to have an excellent chance of having a deep playoff run. Uh, so I fully suspect here that going into next season, they'll be just as competitive, if not more so, even with all the kids they've got coming along. Uh, they should be a fun team to watch for the next number of years. And Sheriff certainly is not willing to step down. He's still playing a big role in their success. So let me know down in the comments what you think of this signing. Personally, I think it's great for the Bruins organization. I think the value that the, the young defensemen get are far outweighs what they're paying them on the contract. I think $5 million is pretty reasonable for a veteran player um, that he brings to the table. I think $5 million is pretty good. Generally, when you get to his age as well, you can earn a lot of extra money, like the, the bonuses and the incentives added in are a nice a mix to help him earn extra money should he keep up the games played and the points, etc. So I think it's a good deal for both sides. Uh, so I'm not surprised that Sanchera is going to keep going here and we'll definitely see him retire as a Baroon when the time comes when he's ready. If you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. We cover all 31 NHL teams. There's plenty of content here for all fan bases to enjoy. If you haven't done so already, consider checking us out on Twitter. You're going to find our Twitter handle on the screen right here. 
We're also on Facebook and Instagram. And all of our social media links are down below in the description. So check those out. As always, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll catch you next time.